So the head coach search is officially on for the Indianapolis Colts. They're looking for a guy who can come in, build a culture, build a championship team, and and ultimately bring this team to the promise. That's what every team does when they're searching for a coach, right? You look for some very good intangibles and leadership and, you know, having dynamic play calling, being creative. And, you know, whether it's an offensive or or defensive guy, you want them to be very, you know, just very creative and, and have amazing leadership and be open to new ideas and being willing to adapt. Now, nowadays, I would definitely lean towards an offensive coordinator, especially since the league is so offensive geared. But there is definitely some exceptions where a defensive guy can definitely make do being a head coach. We have two offensive coordinators and two defensive coordinators on this list today. Which, of all four of these guys, the Colts have shown interest in so far. According to CBS, the Colts have asked if they could speak with them, have an interview... You know, maybe all that stuff. Of course, after the season's over for the e- for the Eagles, because one, one of them from the Eagles, the other two non-playoff teams. So you gotta wait to see the Eagles guy. But let's get into the first two guys here real quick. You have Aaron Glenn, who is a defensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions. So he was a player at one point, pretty damn good player, 15-year player, three Pro Bowls, pretty good career, pretty damn good career if you ask if you ask me. Um. So, so the defense was, was damn near the bottom at every major c- category, right? You look at us from the surface, a lot, a lot of points, a lot of, a lot of um, yards. Just wasn't a very effective defense. Pass rush was okay, on and off, very inconsistent as the entire defense wasn't good at all. But the pass rush was one of the bright spots they had. Jeff Okuda was good in the beginning of the season, uh, but. That defense forced 22 turnovers. And and 15 of those games were at least one. My issue with, you know, having an, you know, having a defensive corner, yeah, he's a player. He's more recent to the game. Maybe he didn't have the best of talent. And even not having the best of talent, forcing 22 turnovers, quite impressive. Thing is, I am not very... Um, Hi, I'm bringing in a guy that doesn't have a ton of experience coaching, and you know, kind of sounds contradicting for what I was saying for Jeff Saturday for throughout the year. But if it's going to be a defensive guy, needs to have good experience, needs to be very prestigious in his game, in his department of coaching, and you know, he hasn't had that much coaching experience yet. He 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 is coached for not long at all, but. This isn't really my favorite option of the bunch here. So the next guy we got here is also a Lions guy. He's an offensive coordinator. This guy I would be excited about. If I had to pick a guy from this list, Ben Johnson is the guy I want. Honestly, after thinking about it more, Ben Johnson may be the number one guy that I want in the head coaching job. He led one of the best offenses in 2022. He had, you know, there are some good things about that offense, some good talents, good receivers, good running backs. Offensive line is decent. Um, quarterback is, you know, it's an interesting situation. He helped Jared Goff have his best statistical season to date. And it was a pretty damn good season for Jared Goff. Now, we will see what happens next year. If, you know, if the Lions draft the quarterback and, and all that, we will get to that later on in the offseason a little bit. Maybe soon, we don't know. That's why you stay tuned. Subscribe, like, put that post notification bell on. Stay tuned for your videos, news, all that type of stuff. Um, but the offense that he ran last year was fifth in scoring, eighth in passing, third in rushing, and fourth in third down efficiency. That's a pretty damn good offense. And if you throw another really good wide receiver weapon in there, you know any weapon other than running back, you know the running backs are very good. If you add a weapon there, a wide receiver maybe a Get big time game changer tight end, which are rare, really, really. Kelsey Waller, Andrews, the guys that come to mind, Kittle. Um, so maybe another X Factor at receiver or tight end if you do find that guy at tight end. But, um, point is, he's creative, he has a lot of creative ideas and and how we shaped that offense last year. So I would definitely be excited. 
he he does have um a very good running scheme, solid zone running scheme. Gets creative. He takes the offensive lineman and he finds different ways to pull with them. Whether you know they're on an offset tight end or if they're just a tight end, uh, tight end on the line, just like an extra lineman have them pull. Um, just get you know an extra lineman up in there. He's creative in a lot of ways. A good zone. He's very good with um with his zone running schemes. He has a very good one in Detroit right now. That's why Jamal Williams is thriving over there. So, Ben Johnson really is my guy out of these four guys and may ultimately become the guy that the Colts should get. So, we have two more here. We have Raheem Morris, Rams defensive coordinator. 21 years coaching in the NFL. So, this is a guy that was a head coach before. Three years as a head coach in Tampa Bay. Let's see... I'm not really, you know, if he was already head coach, and then he served as a defensive back coach in Washington. Uh, he spent three seasons as Falcons assistant um, coach, receivers coach, and passing game coordinators. Um, Morris, Morris served in that role when Atlanta captured the NFC title in 2016. So it's shown that he has led very su successful teams. In assistant, in a non-head coaching role. I'm not really all for Raheem Morris being the head coach. Just not. So, Raheem Morris, he was ready a head coach as we, as I just mentioned. I'm not, I'm not sold at Raheem Morris. I, this is another guy I'm not really interested in. Now, Shane Steichen, Eagles offensive coordinator. I, mentioned, I think I mentioned it, uh, that we had an Eagles guy here earlier. So, been two seasons as the Eagles offense coordinator. But this last year in 2022, offense was fifth in rushing, fourth and third down efficiency, and third in red zone e efficiency. The Colts were horrible in the red zone last year. Now, how much of him is calling the plays? Is Nick Sirianni calling a lot of those plays over there? Not sure. You know, I think it's Nick Sirianni calling those shots on the offensive side of things. But, you know, it'd be interesting to see Shane Steichen come back to Indy, come to Indy and be the head coach. Uh, I wouldn't mind. I'd have to look into the system a little more. I'd have to look into him and Aaron Glenn a little more. Maybe, you know, I really need to look into these guys a little more, except for Ben Johnson. I know Ben Johnson a bit. really like Ben Johnson. Um, Raheem Morris already being a previous head, co a previous head coach. Aaron Glenn, Lions defensive coordinator. And then you have Shane Steichen, Eagles defensive coordinator. So, of all of these four guys, if you had to pick a guy, who are you taking? Why are you taking him? Do you think he's really could really lead the Colts to a championship? Um, another thing is Jeff Saturday. I don't think Jeff Saturday is going to be the guy next year. It's just, how could you watch 33-point comeback happen, you know, have one of the Biggest comebacks in NFL history, you know, when you were the head coach. I know he didn't coach long. He was basically put in a non-winnable situation. But I think I'd really move to a guy who we know that can be. Because it's really still a wild card with Jeff Saturday. You say you want to make changes and all that. But I'm just not. I don't know. I'm willing to, I kind of want to try someone else. I, I know I wouldn't be mad if we gave Jeff Saturday, a, you know, a real shot at this. I wouldn't be mad. Just, I would feel a little better if we get a guy like Ben Jones, if we get, a, you know, a different guy to run the ship. Just because of Jeff Saturday have abs, having absolutely no experience previous to this year. No experience in college either. So... You guys let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on to excited for your videos. This is the JDW Sports Talk Show. I'm signing off. Catch you later.